Welcome to Hack and Build. Today I'm going to be showing you my $60 electric sawmill. The sawmill consists of a $40 Harbor Freight chainsaw and a $20 beam machine. Essentially, this beam machine will ride on a rail, which is a 2x4. It could be a 2x6, and it's adjustable here via these wing nuts. And the saw will just mount in here like this, and you tighten these down. This guide works really well, and for what it's designed for, cutting beams, it works, it works well. Setting up the mill is a quick and painless process. You just mount the 2x4 on top of the log that you're cutting and drive it in with some screws. This is what it looks like cutting into a maple log. There's a bit of a technique to it, and I did get to speed up a bit, but it still was pretty slow going through this log. In fact, I would say it was excruciatingly slow. Even after 15 or so minutes of cutting, I still hadn't managed to punch all the way through. Here's the beam machine being used with a 16-inch gas chainsaw. We got a, about a foot a minute on this oak log and the entire cut took around eight minutes. I got real sick of using that electric sawmill because it was just too slow. And looking at the boards, let's take a look again. The thickness is pretty consistent except up to here where I ended up cutting this, just cutting this by hand with the chainsaw because my guide wasn't set up correctly. I'm still gonna have to run this through a planer or do some hand planing to get it finished. So what I decided to do was try my hand at hand splitting. And these are the tools I used. I went out and picked up a couple wedges from Home Depot. And the problem with these wedges is that it, it's not a smooth transition here. So I had to do some work on these, uh, ground it down a little bit to make this transition here a little bit more tapered. These work pretty well now. I picked up this Axe, this Friskers X7 um, hatchet, which I really like uh, for, for splitting the wood and then just using a uh, this five pound sledge and some various uh, chisels here to, to go ahead and split the wood. Here's the kind of results that I got. I did some slabs kind of like this and this the tree wasn't quite straight but um, yeah we'll see how this cleans up it's going to need quite a few passes through the planer but that's we'll just look at some, some more slices I also did some smaller chunks like this some longer square-ish chunks I was trying to to get, I wanted to make like a bar stool, and I was trying to get wood that would allow me to do that. Um, so I've got another few chunks like this. I think I have enough for a set of legs. Big square chunk. So overall, I was able to split three or four logs this size down in about an hour and I got through all the wood that I had in a couple working a couple afternoons whereas the sawmill I spent a couple hours um, and that's what I got so yeah the electric sawmill works but honestly if you're just gonna if you're just gonna be splitting up small logs I think the hand splitting is gonna work pretty well and I mean the thing to keep in mind is you're gonna to have to whatever you do whether you're uh, whether you're splitting or you're using a sawmill you're gonna to have to clean clean these things up anyway so I guess pick your poison that's pretty much it for the sawmill I hope you found that interesting so if you enjoyed please subscribe for more hacks and builds see you next time cheers